Hi guys, I'm Vishal and we'll be talking about KPIT Sparkle in this video. KPIT Sparkle is now a platform for innovation. Last nine years, uh, we were having participation Pan India. This year, the 10th year, we want to go global. And uh, for this, we would uh, like to invite all the undergraduate students to participate in KPIT Sparkle. For the global audience, I would like to uh, present some statistics. So we have more than one lakh students who have participated in these nine years and more than 10,000 plus ideas which have come to this platform. This year, we have a focus on software and uh, solutions related to mobility using software. The timelines are, uh, so the registration and idea submissions start in the month of August and we accept the ideas till October. So during this process, basically you would be uh, submitting, you would be forming your team first. The team leader would send an invite to all the team members. The team members would register on the portal. The team leader would submit the idea and then uh, invite the team members to be a part of that. So all this is done through the portal. You'd be uh, giving us references of your professors and TPOs or even the principal so that we, we know that you are a student. You'll be uploading even your I cards so that we have proof that you are a student, an undergraduate student. So uh, the next thing which happens is basically once the idea is submitted, our SMEs are working on it and basically we are trying to get the top 100 teams selected for the pre-finale round. The communication would be through the email address which you have registered. We would also want to call you and have a small discussion with you before you uh, are selected for the pre-finale round. The pre-finale round happens in the month of December. And what, will, what, what you need to do in the pre-finale round is basically show us the implementation of the idea. So the selected teams show the implementation of the idea it would be an online round. We would give you uh, the date and the time which your team has to present. And uh, this would be the, the pre-finale round. Once the pre-finale round is done, there will be a score which is given to your idea on the basis of how unique it is, how feasible it is to implement, how different you have thought about solving the problem. So all these things count and basically once we we have the pre-finale round done, we would be getting the finalists. These finalists would then start working on the final prototype and present this in person coming to Pune in the month of March. So this is the total timeline of KPIT Sparkle. 2024. This year we have nine themes in which we, we are uh, accepting innovative ideas in. The reason why we have uh, these nine themes are because what we understood from the, our experience of nine years is that undergraduate students require a problem statement to come up with an innovation. So we have directed them towards areas where if they really innovate, if they have a, a solution to it, uh, there can be an IP generated. So there are certain uh, benefits for uh, uh, participation. So first thing is that you get a prototype fund where you can use that fund for uh, prototyping. Second thing is that you get to meet and talk to SMEs from KPIT. So these SMEs are working in this technology and what it means is basically someone who would guide you in, in your idea is something which is which is most important uh, as, a as a knowledge transfer. This year we have a total prize money of over 12 lakh Indian rupees which is up for grabs so everyone can try their luck for this. Uh, the second thing that is uh, different from all other contests is that our SMEs guide you through the process. Basically, whenever you have a, a idea presented, there is a equal support that KPIT provides. This is not this is something very different that you'll find from the other contests. 
and uh, the most important thing is that we use design thinking as a process during uh, the whole uh, the nine month period so so the design thinking is one of the elements which which allow you to actually look back and reflect first is about empathizing with with the problem statement to understand the problem statement to come up with a solution and ideation try to make a virtual prototype first this virtual prototype will prove you that your solution is different it works it's better than what is available in the market then going forward you can actually make a real prototype this prototype could be a software a hardware at, and it could also be a, a mix of software and hardware so uh, the most important part over here is how feasible is it to be implemented so all these things are going to be uh, evaluated uh, during the process i would request all the participants to kindly download the brochure from our website sparkle.kpit.com so basically once you download the brochure uh, the details are there in in the brochure and of course we'll have another video talking to you more about uh, the themes and what we expect thank you